Hello all, I am Suganya. I am presenting some videos on control system subject. If you have taken this subject in this semester as your course, you can watch these videos. This will be more helpful for you to understand the basic concepts. So please do watch my videos and give the feedback. Thank you and all the best. So in this video, we are going to see how to convert the given linear equation into a signal flow graph. So here, in the given question, there are four set of equations are given. Now, one by one, we have to, for each equation, one by one, we have to get the signal flow graph. And, the, and then finally, we have to combine all those four signal flow graphs to obtain a single signal flow graph. So first, we have to check how many nodes are there. X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. Five nodes are there. X5 node is there in the last equation. So let us take X5 node as the output node and X1 node as the input node. So let me take the first equation. So from here what we got it? What we have taken it as X1 node is the input node and X5 node is the output node. So let me take the first equation x2 which is equivalent to a12 x1 plus a32 x3 plus a42 x4. In this equation here we have x1 node, x2 node, x3 node and x4 node. Now x2 in the equation x2 node this is output if we take each and every term in this term a12 it is a gain x1 node it is input so generally gain it is output by input with respect to this concept here we have taken output it is for each term it is gain into input the same way here it is gain into input. Here it is gain into input. So in the first equation x2 is the output node. Let me take only the first term. x1 node is the input node. x2 node is the output node. From x1 to x2 this line it carries the uh, gain value as a12. This is with respect to the first term. Now let us take the second term. For the second term, x3 node is the input node. x2 node is the output node. So from the later node to the prior node, the flow it is coming. So instead of taking in this reverse way, let us take the flow in this feedback path. From x3 node to x2 node with a gain value A32. Now let us take the third term. From x4 node to x2 node. From x4 node to x2 node with a gain value A42. This is the required signal flow graph only with respect to equation 1. Now let us do this for equation 2. The equation 2 it is x3 is equivalent to A23 x2. In this equation 2, we have only two nodes. Here we have x2 node and x3 node. This is output gain into input. That means from x2 node to x3 node, I have to draw the signal flow graph with a gain value A23. So now these two equations are done. Let us move to the next two equations. Equation 3. Equation 3. Where x4 is a24 x2 plus a34 x3 plus a44 x4. In this equation we have x2 node x3 x4. So let me place x2 node x3 and 
x4 node now this is output gain into input so from x2 node to x4 node from x2 node to x4 node here with respect to the first term x3 node is not included so x2 no x3 node should not be covered just to avoid x3 node i am taking the signal from x2 node to x4 node in this way with a gain value a24 now x3 node is the input node x4 node is the output node from x3 to x4 with a gain value a34 the last term in the third equation a44 x4 x4 node is the output x4 node is the input that means this term starting node and terminal node both are same this it represents the self loop so starting node and terminal node both are same with a gain value a44 so this is with respect to equation 3 now let us do it for equation 4 equation 4 it is x5 which is equivalent to a25 x2 plus a45 x4 here three nodes are involved x2 node x4 node x5 node x5 node is the output node all these nodes are input nodes so to x5 node from x2 node i have to draw and x4 is not included so to x5 from x2 to x5 from x2 with a gain value a25 and 2x5 node from x4 2x5 node from x4 node with a gain value a45 so the last diagram which it indicates for equation 4 now i have to combine equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 and equation 4 in a single signal flow graph let me place all the four nodes over here x1 x2 x3 x4 and the output node x5 the first signal flow graph a12 x1 to x2 x3 to x2 a32 x4 to x2 a42 first signal flow graph in the same signal flow graph i am taking the second equation flow graph x2 to x3 x2 to x3 with a gain value a23 now third equation signal flow graph x2 to x4 x2 to x4 with a gain value a24 x3 to x4 with a gain value a34 then the self loop at x4 node a44 so third equation flow graph it's done now fourth equation flow graph x4 to x5 a25 and x2 to x5 so here x2 here x5 x2 to x5 gain value a25 so this is the final signal flow graph which we have obtained from the given set of equations so now from this given signal flow from the obtained signal flow graph by using meissen's gain formula we can obtain the transfer function for the given set of equations so it's done we'll meet you in the next video thank you